Someone else is streaming. <laughs> <laughs> Someone else is streaming, so it's fine. It's not a big deal. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Whoops. No big deal. No big deal. NBD, bro. NBD. All right. Alrighty. Looks like uh, my stream is going up right now. Looks like I missed that game entirely. Couldn't make my stream online on Team Liquid. I have a Team Liquid stream right on, uh, by the way. Just in case. Oh, nice. I just got that recently, so I'm really uh, happy and playing with it as much as possible. Very cool. Very cool. Very happy, actually. I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna grab a drink, of course. Don't fret. What? And here I am. Hey, he's back. What's up, Asian Justice? Justice for the justice. Asians. And now, yep, I'm the gonna Asians take, indeed. Gonna take the first sip of my Pepsi Wild Cherry. Hold up, hold up. All right, standing by. <sighs> that sounds like one satisfying drink, bro. Oh my God, getting that Pepsi. I love Pepsi. And then. When you finish a drink, there's an aftertaste of wild cherry, so it's just like, whoa, um, wild sounds cherry. Sounds wild to me. Sounds gnarly, crazy, oh my god, awesome to me. And, um, ho, 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 gonna take my second swig, of course. Gonna follow up with a nice second swig, swig transition. Yeah, first swig opening into second uh, swig transition, pretty good. Pretty good uh, build order when it comes to uh, demolishing a Pepsi Cherry build. Yeah, definitely. Gonna open up real strong, gonna get a lot of units, and also a very economic build so that when your second push comes, you'll have a massive 150 plus supply army within 10 minutes. So it'll definitely crush any opponent, unless he's macroing really hard too. <laughs> yep. You definitely, you definitely want to be able to deal with that, uh, you know, the fizziness, the... Uh, all the bubbles, you know, getting your throat and everything like that, the acid taste, everything like that. You gotta be able to counter that hard. Counter yeah, I'll you know still be in a really tough spot because like that, really, you just can't deal with that. There's there's no way any opponent can deal with that much stuff coming in your face. -L yeah, it's like, you know, it's that kind of thing where if it catches you off guard, you know, you just, you don't have the counter for it. It's kind of like, you know, Void Rays in the early game against Zerk. If you don't yeah. counter it, you can just die. Yeah, taking my fifth swig right there. I mean, the point. Am I, yeah, it was just so so strong. Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my god, strong. Too strong. Too strong. And you know what? I haven't actually seen this this new video that you've got on your plan on your stream right now. What is that? Oh, uh, this is uh, all I do is sin by uh, Tempo Starcraft. Oh, Tempo! Back with the new one, huh? Yeah. I mean, they make so many... He, his videos aren't original, like uh, Nerd Alert, but like, he comes out with it pretty often. But, and it's like, it's, it's good enough. <laughs> and yeah, he has really good lyrics also. Yeah, it's uh, definitely legit. I'm down for it, man. I, I tell you what, I'm a big fan of StarCraft 2 music. <laughs> I've got the... Um... Yeah, I, I know. I've seen your playlist before. Oh, you did. You you see my playlist, man. Yeah, it's long. It's like every single right one I've ever heard of. Yeah, it's, dude. I got like uh, I got like about 22 songs on here right now, adding more every every day. Every day, adding more music. And uh, oh, yeah, yeah, dude, yeah, that's, that's, that's what I listen to when I'm flattering. It makes me happy. <laughs> This is how, uh, freaking, uh, this is how eSports gets bigger. More music being made, so it's always awesome. Yep, and also your, uh, your StarCraft 2 background there, I would say that's definitely helping out eSports as well. What? Can't I, argue I with it at all. Editing. What? I don't even know what I'm talking about. No, what are you talking about? I don't, talking even... About? I don't, I don't, hey, man, I don't even know what I'm talking about. I don't, I don't, I'm just seeing things. Yeah, I, I, I think they do. I don't even know. <laughs> hey, uh, what's that? What's the channel for the tournament, by the way? Oh yeah, um, it's uh. Oh, uh, it's on uh, NMX uh, NMX late night. 
Alright, I'm gonna add someone else to the call. He's gonna be, we're gonna have a triple cast. Right on. Add to call. So did you right. find out if this uh, tournament has a, um, a team with, with that or anything like that? Um, I have no idea, but my friend's here. His name is Derek. Sup Theory? If Sup, Derek. Derek. Sup Theory Theory? So theory's gonna be, uh, we're gonna Hello. do the triple cast going down right now. Cause that's always Three-way awesome. power cast, that's how you do. The triple, triple way cast. Uh, invite me. It looks like we're yep. gonna be streaming uh, Combat X next game, so that's always fancy, of course. So, um, that's always awesome. Invite me. Invite me. I wanna cast Combat X because he's just gonna two games win, but whatever. Yep, sounds good. So, um, I mean, like, uh, well, yeah, well, do we have a Team Liquid thread or like a website or anything? Uh, I like think that? it's on Zeke, is what I know. It's, it's the best of my knowledge. Okay. But there we funny. go. Alright, I've been invited to a game. Let me invite all of you guys else. Invite, suggest to game. Theory, we're not Suggest me as well. Alright, let me just find every, everybody. Theory, suggest to game. Uh, hey, it's Pantheon. Pantheon? What? Yeah, I actually played Pantheon once. It was uh, pretty embarrassing. It was earlier. One of my buddies was... He was getting coaching from some grandmaster. I think it was Google, and uh, so he was going to be demonstrating a build. So he needed a Zerg to demonstrate the build on. So he, he messaged me. He's like, "Hey, man, do you want to play against a grandmaster?" I'm like, "Oh yeah, yeah, for I sure." Th so, I think I've, so I I've played that. against them before. Oh. Yeah, it was uh, it was pretty garbage, dude. I got destroyed, and I actually I actually even didn't even play my full potential back then, which was you know not what it is today. <laughs> so kind of kind of embarrassing, but hey, it's all good. Mm. So. All right, all right, Svalthor, you've been suggested. All right, we will have a triple cast right now, everybody. Even Google is going to be joining us. Okay, um, looks like we have Asian Justice casting, Theory casting, and of course myself, Wakanaka Taka casting. Of course, all of us going to be casting together, and we're going to tear stuff apart. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Your um, your stream's supposed to be up on Team Liquid because I don't see it. Uh, it should be. I mean, I'm watching it. On Team oh, Liquid. yep, I see it. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, looks like this map is MLG Shakuras Plateau. We'll have Gosu Sanki versus Pantheon in this NMX late night tournament. It's not even that late yet. It's actually early evening, dusk maybe. And looks like uh, we have Gosu Sanki gonna be spawning down south here, southwest side. And looks like uh, Pantheon gonna be spawning east side on the southern side. Pantheon gonna be rocking the light blue toss. And, uh, Bottom left tank corner, Sankey's, uh I, You know what, man? I'm gonna call it right now. I, I'm calling. I'm predicting supply depot. All right, all right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna play pro toss and be calling us a, a a pylon. I do believe it was called. I think it's called a pylon. So um, that's probably. It's pretty standard these days, you know. Uh, if Kind of fell out of favor midway through the progression of StarCraft 2, but now, you know, the pylon first build for Protoss, coming back into it. Coming back, coming back into the game, always a very strong build. Alright, very strong build. I mean, you can do, you can go, once you get the pylon out, you can build, like, anything you want. You can build, like, yep. forges and even some gateways. So it's always pretty cool. It's very, very cool. <coughs> okay, Pantheon, I'm gonna, there's some happy talks and uh... theory if you want to say anything go right ahead say whatever you want okay well i believe pantheon's on the same team i'm on really? so he's <laughs> got a pretty good protoss style um... sanki oh, wow. is on team gosu um, he is he's actually a, was a professional warcraft three player won a few thousand dollars playing warcraft three also famous for his bad manner so we haven't seen any of that yet. Maybe he'll get to play Combat X later. Oh yeah, that's is true. And he can play yep. a macro game, but he can also play a very heavy all-in game because he's very good micro. Ah, oh, we have some uh, nice uh, 
talking. Nice little judgment from Theory. And uh, Theory, I thought you were, so uh, I didn't know you were part of uh, Pantheon's team. I thought you were on Team Fallacy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we have this. Oh, that probe gonna get surrounded and taken out. Very nice. Pantheon gonna be a little bit sad losing the life of his probe, his mechanical workers, and uh, Pantheon gonna be making uh, cybernetics core, and it does go down right now. Something's coming in from iron. It's a big blue ball of something. We have no idea, but it looks like since we're playing StarCraft and we're we're casters, it's gonna be a cybernetics core. Uh, command center going down right now from Ghost of Sun. He's gonna go for a gas to expand, expand red. The natural is not gonna fear any freaking thing. It's gonna make some. Gonna make a bunker, of course. Yeah, pretty brave of uh, Sonky to just be going straight for the one Rax Expo, man. You know, you don't know what Pantheon is doing. He could be any, doing any kind of build. He sees that he didn't go, you know, uh, okay. Fortress or anything like that. So we'll see. I mean, he does see the Simon S score, so he could be getting, like, Warp Gate and, like, stuff like that, but, you know, it's never... But he does see the yeah. double gas, so, I mean, from this, he can, uh, do a... Get a lot of sentry, he might be going for, uh, three gate... Uh, okay, he pulls guys off gas. Pantheon does. I'd like to see him do some kind of one base all in here, because as soon as he expands... Yep, there's the Twilight he'll be Council. In the way behind. Okay, so there goes the Twilight Council. Twilight Council going down. Uh, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna call... What three gate blink stalker probably? Uh, call him DT. Yeah, I was going to call DTs also. DTs are so strong. Yeah, there's a robo, so it's looking like it'll be drop. Oh, DT well, drop. The the thing about this, you know, is that there's going to be two orbital commands for Sonky, so he's going to be able to have plenty of scans available, um, and we'll see. You know, maybe if he can sniff out that tech, considering that he did see Pantheon to gas. Yeah, I mean... He's All right, Twilight Council is finishing up. We're going to see if he puts down. I'm and, and yep, you guys are right. Dark, dark Shrine. Dark Shrine Very coming nice. down right now. Looks like Pantheon is going to go for some <coughs> invisible things that kill SCVs and Marines in one hit without the combat shield upgrade, of course. Um, yeah. Those are Sanki. Only having three racks hmm. right now, two tech labs. And all this SCV might get inside. If this SCV comes in and scouts, no, another stock can come in. Come in, deny. Nice attempt to scout, but gonna be denied by Pantheon. I mean, Sucky knows his CT. Like, he didn't see an expansion. Nothing, yep. No Stargate timing's come yet. He's gonna get the Njing Bay. He knows it's coming. He Bay already coming down. And, you know, that's why I called the three... I was giving Pantheon the benefit of the doubt. I was hoping that he would not go for DTs because, you know, it's just... It's so cheesy because... If it's scouted or even predicted, it can just get shut down so hard and do no damage at all. So, I don't know, man. I was hoping, I was hoping he would uh, come with a little bit of a stronger build, but we'll see. Yeah, we'll see and I wonder if Pantheon realizes that with you can put a pylon next to their base on the low ground and use a hallucinated phoenix to get DTs warped into the yep. main. And you or if you have a robo bay out, you can just send your observer and fly it around. Or yeah. that. Uh, but I mean, like, uh, Ghost of Sunk is going to be really prepared. He's got supply defaults at the edge of his bases, just to make sure for some uh, any drops at all. He'll be able to spot the only problem easily. is The only problem is Sunky with no turret in his main. He just summoned he... a mule. He just summoned a mule. He has no energy uh, to kill this DT in his main. So one and DT here comes right the now. DT. And he's just now making he a middle needs, turret. He he's he's sending everything trying to save that middle turret. turret. And he does surround the turret. Very nice. You see how uh, much damage that the SCV is that the wow. Dark Templar can do? Oh, it finally reaches the Dark Templar, the, the missile turret. Can they kill the SCV? No, it's just gonna back off. Very nice by Pantheon. And, oh, the DT gets gonna away! Gonna save the life of his DT. Gonna spend another one. Another missile turret is going down right now. Looks like Pantheon is just gonna be in his base trying to do as much. Oh, that DT is a little bit of trouble. Can it go down? No, it does not. Wow, oh, Pantheon. So close. Great micro, saving the life of his DT with Barely an HP on it. Three HP it does go down. Scan finally finding and it. Warper's Warper's gonna get late. Oh, oh down. no, a little bit late on that stim. And Pantheon really needs to work on his macro at home, because even though he's doing damage, if he doesn't macro, he's not really gonna get um a good lead. He's not making probes. He's making five probes at one Nexus. He needs to crow boost him out of the other one too. Yeah, okay, he, he actually that. forgot that he had an expansion it looks like. So yeah, totally uh, now he remembers. I'm gonna be able to do that. And take down those dark be able to snipe off. And even the warp prism. Warp prism. Looks like this. Very nice. Looks like this is shut down. 
Easy peasy, six gates coming down right now, follow up from Pantheon, so that's gonna be not that big of an issue. Looks like Ghost of Donkey completely making sure his front is secure. Gonna have the uh, double supply, he will triple bunker and engineering bay wall off. And looks like now gonna get his fourth gas and his natural. Gonna be transitioning into medevac, double reactor, medevac, and three or four racks? Three racks right now, as of yet. Yep. Uh, now gonna be floating his factory all the way over to his opponent's base. Do a little bit of scouting, see what's up. See what's going and on. And I imagine he's gonna be able to be able to come in and see these uh, six gates coming up, no problem. So he knows there's no other tech coming out of Pantheon, just gonna be a massive six gate. And it's really kinda all in his shit because he's not putting down any more tech. Yeah, then we have Comet Shield going down right now, and uh, weapon level one is about halfway done. And charge is also almost done. So we'll see some really fast zealots. Gonna put down a scan right now. Does not see any of the production buildings right now in uh, Pantheon's base, but does scout that he does have uh, an exp a natu uh, nat natural extension has been taken. And uh, looks like Factory now coming on over. Gonna see a pile on morphing in from iron and also a robotic space. I mean, facilities sitting there being fancy. And double forge yep, coming up Pantheon. right now. Hey, I was just about to say that, man. Taking the words right out of my mouth. Sorry, bro. Sorry, sorry. Uh, that's not good. It's all good. <laughs> You can have it this time. All right, thanks, thanks. I appreciate it. Next, next time, I want to talk about the Devil Force. Or something. And Sonky coming in with the factory, going to be seeing everything. Oh, well, almost everything. He sees, he sees four gates. He doesn't see the other two. I don't like that he had his factory on route on his waypoints there. He should have flown all the way in, and he would have been able to see exactly what's going on. But even behind this, he's also going for a drop right now. His uh, nice, good drop in, and going to be taking out the Twilight Council. I mean, he's already he's got charged a little bit late, but now he's just going to fly away. It looks like those stalkers aren't going to be able to do that much damage as they only do 10 to Medivax. Right? Are they? Yeah, they're light. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they're light units. So, uh, armor and uh, stalkers don't get the bonus damage. But it looks like... Uh, <sighs> Two command centers going down. No. Yeah, look at that. Oh no, Pantheon sending a warp prism in and just destroyed. Yeah, and it looks like another drop is cleaned up. It wasn't able to take on the dark te dark shrines, but there were two dark templars here defi defending their shrine. So it looks like this drop losing three marauders is going to lose a bunch of DPS. And looks like, f ooh, wow, that's actually pretty smart. Going to like leave that factory all the way. Just going to take the third for himself. That factory, what a baller. And it looks like the, we, have nice. a, we have a drop going in t around the entire map. We're gonna drop at oh Pantheon's Templar archives right over there. Now that's gonna be. And awesome. these Marauders doing a lot of damage. That scan did wear off, so the, the charge lot DT is gonna come in. Um, does he have another scan back at home? He does have enough for a scan. He might throw down the scan. He might not. But there's enough zealots here. He's just picking off, picking off so many probes. Twenty-two workers killed. Four on Pink Terran. Yeah, Sanki's in a dominating position right now. He has four command centers. Yep, but Pantheon has a lot of zealots, man. That's 22 zealots. Um, and the Observer and DT are going to be seeing this uh, SCB transfer. This could be deadly uh, if Pantheon spots that and goes for the third base of Sanki. But the planetary, planetary is... He does get a DT and barely gets the observer. Oh, and there's three high temp three with full energy. He could get down some nice storms. There are three ghosts on the field, no MP energy yet. Yep. Ghosts can be heaven. Energy for EMP pretty soon. And look at this, Sonki in the middle of the map, bottom middle, going to be taking that uh, kind of hidden expansion, floating his building down with four SCVs into it. Very nice. But he needs to kind of remember that he did that and unload those and started uh, probably up into a planetary pretty quick here. Here's a drop. Here comes the army, 
just kind of poking in front, and these ghosts could do. And the ghosts could have two GMPs. Oh, Pantheon's watch over. Nice. Completely destroying Pantheon's army, and Pantheon going to be crushed here. These uh, these units have no chance. Oh my God, that was the most one-sided battle I've ever seen. Well, okay, not the most one-sided I've ever seen. I've seen some pretty one-sided battles, man. But he can. Yeah, very nice. Uh, very nice from Sonky. Going to be scouting out. He's got, if you look at the top right corner, he's got uh, he's got a Marine on patrol in between those two bases. So he's going to know exactly when Pantheon trades to take an expansion, if he does. But another drop in the back. Going to be uh, a DT trying to clean it up. And, oh, very nice. Look at that micro. Picking up the Marauders and dropping them. And going to be trying to snipe down some pylons. Just do kind of distract, do whatever damage he wants to do. Zealot's being hooked in. Yep, oh, this medevac. The medevac was drinking coffee when the army came out for him. And, oh, it's going to be taken out. Um, not a big deal, however. And Ghost's going to be trying to get in position. Oh, no, the Templar. Oh, EMP's all over the high Templars. Very nice. And Ghost's going to be just, he's gonna clean everything. Up. And, Oh, everything coming down from Sonky, just destroying Pantheon's army. And GG from Pantheon. And hey, wow, hey guys, go for it. Can, can I uh, shoot? Tell you something. Okay. Uh, when something exciting is happening, you're all trying to talk at the same time, and then eventually, sure. the last person that speaks is the only one that gets heard. Yeah. And Brian, our producer, trying to uh, help us with that casting a little bit. I'm going to yeah. call you our producer from now on, Brian. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that, bro. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, I, there's actually, always, always going to be some talking over each other in a three-way power cast. Yeah. It's I mean, just it's hard. You guys should just, like, wait. Like, give it a split second or something just to give the other guy a chance. Or just, like... If you hear the guy's gonna keep going on, then probably wait. Agree one hundred percent. Let's do it. All right. Looks like uh, looks like that that was the first game, and it looks like we're going to the best. This is the best of three. Actually, I think that we're gonna go to the Combat X stream next. Okay, we're gonna combat go to the X Combat games. X game. Okay. All right. Uh -huh. We're gonna go to the Combat X games, everybody, because that's exactly what we do. We're just gonna cast a BM guy. Because that's always fun to do. Gonna reset the stream right now. I'll be right back, everybody. <laughs> 